questions that you want to know and you want answers to. Tell me what your number one question is going to be. Hey, Fred Lam here, and welcome to our Atrix TV. Now, in today's episode, I want to talk about Funnel Building 101. Now, I'm not going to talk about just the regular go opt in, go buy a product, and the sales funnel itself. I want to actually go not just 30,000 foot overview, but to a 50,000 foot overview to actually have you thinking when you are media buying online. Now again, Atrix TV is all about media buying and my goal and purpose with this entire series is to help you not become just a regular media buyer, but become a high performance media buyer. So let's look at Funnel Building 101, okay? We all know that we need to have a landing page, upsell, downsell, et cetera, et cetera. But what I want to actually share with you today is a different look. We're gonna actually go a step further. We're gonna take it to the 50,000 foot overview to actually share all these with you. So we all know that a typical funnel looks like this, right? Typical funnel looks like this. Now, excuse my drawing. I obviously have very ugly drawing. Now, this is a funnel. What you want to do is have people going through your funnel, and again, not every single person is going to actually become your customer. So you have people coming in, you have people coming in, and obviously you have what people actually hear, and I put a dollar sign, becomes your customer, okay? So now, here's the thing, I'm gonna talk about this side first. Where you get in markets, and a lot of people that really missed out in the funnel creation process is your ads is actually part of the funnel. This is where you start to actually extract from the entire marketplace of consumers and audience that you want them to enter in into your funnel. So the ad is always actually the first focus and that's why as a media buyer, advertising is so important and the creative message and the hooks and angles are very important. Because let's say this pen, this pen, can be sold to different markets. It can be sold to teachers. It can be sold to, uh, sold to kids. It can be sold to moms that are wanted to buy for their kids. It can be sold for college students. Although we're selling the same pen, but then which message and which hook sticks is the very important part. So again, you use this through the ad and we always do our testing with hooks and angles to see what works first before we develop and perfect the funnel from here. So again, ads is so important. So as a media buyer, you gotta remember, you gotta constantly come up with different hooks and angles to get in markets, regardless if you're advertising on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google, et cetera, et cetera, the ad really set the stage at the top of the funnel. Now, once you actually got those people, then we all know they go to your landing page, and I'm just gonna put landing page, and after they go to your landing page, they either go to the checkout page, etc etc and they basically give you their money right so when you look at this it's getting more slim more slim more slim because people will start to actually drop off there will be people that will leave here people that will leave here people that will leave here people that will leave here, will leave here and that's where we start to create what we call retargeting to actually get people to come back into here Okay, so again, that's what you want to look at, at the first part of things. Now we all know this, right? We all know this. Where the other parts that is super important from a 50,000 foot overview is right here. Right here, we have this funnel, but at the bottom, a lot of people just leave it here. But one of the most important thing is when you're building a funnel, is that you gotta then have an inverse funnel over here. Okay, you gotta have an inverse funnel over here. Now with this inverse funnel, the key goal is that once you extract the people from the ad, going to your landing page, going to your checkout, becoming your customer, this most important focus is all about monetization. How you can turn these group of customers over here, which is let's say like, 5% from the top down to here, how are you gonna get these 5% to spend more with you? That's where there's gonna be like upsells, there are gonna be cross-sells, 
there are going to be email promotion and your whole goal is to actually output right here more money from the customers that actually bought from you so when you're building a funnel as a media buyer first think of this your ad the hook and the angle now this is typical stuff but where your money is going to be at is all over here this is why big brands can sp can spend millions of dollars on advertising and don't have to worry about competition because they don't focus their money here they focus their money over here how they can actually increase what we call the lifetime customer value this is crucial for your business so let's say that you're in real estate and a lot of people think that well in real estate I really want to advertise my listing, get that buyer to actually buy from me. Obviously, people will book an appointment, schedule a showing, and they become a customer and sign. At this point, they're gone. A lot of real estate agents don't do squad after someone actually made a purchase, right? But again, you did all this. They did not maximize everything here. Think about this. When, if you're a real estate agent, that person just bought a brand new house you can then upsell them with a buddy on mortgages, home insurance, staging, uh, renovation, um, interior design, right? There are so many things that you can now get this person to actually buy more from you or your network or affiliation with other people and that's where you can literally double your money. Right? Again, these are gonna be pure profit because you already pay for the ads and you already acquired the customer. So when it comes to funnel building, you gotta look at this from the 30,000 over foot over, overview and also the 50,000 overview at the same time. That will give you a lot more money to go after a bigger market of people at the same time. All right, so again, I know that this will get you thinking, and if you agree or disagree of what I'm saying, let me know in the comment box right below. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that notification bell, and each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna be informed right away. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.